Hello and welcome back everyone. In today's episode I wanted to review this USB arc lighter by Supras that I bought from Amazon. Uh, I wanted to go over some things I like, some things I don't like and some things I would change about it. Uh, but before we get into that I wanted to show you the box it came in. Here we have the box, the sides, tells you something about the electric lighter in the back shows you what's in the box your SKU number and the uh, sides are blank now mind you I've been using this lighter for uh, some time but I repackaged it into the box so I could show you how it looks like um, now in the box you get this little shape formed lighter and then it's in the little bag. Um, here's your main lighter. You get a couple of warranty cards and things of that nature. Let me see if I can bring the camera up a little bit. Um, so yeah, you get you get also this lanyard, which is kind of nice. Um, it attaches to your lighter. You can detach it, hang it from your neck. And it comes with a little uh, whistle. I'm not gonna blow the whistle, but it's it's okay. It's not like a you know. Uh, I mean, it's it's interesting that they give you this sort of as a survival kit, quote unquote. But you know, uh, and you get a little short USB uh, micro. Uh, I said micro, micro B. Uh, it's very common. This is what the Android used to be before they went to the USB C. So. So I'm sure you probably have a few of these laying around at, at your house. But those aside, let's get into the lighter. Now, this interesting thing about this lighter was I actually bought this entire thing for the case rather than the lighter. Um, I don't particularly like arc lighters too much. But uh, to be honest with you, having carried this for a while, it's it's grown on me. Um, not that it would replace butane or, or the Zippo style lighters, but uh, you know, I might consider it to be a viable lighter now. <laughs> so with that, let's get into this with starting with the insert. Now the insert is compatible with your average run-of-the-mill uh, Zippo case. You can stick it there into the, into the Zippo case. It'll hold the lid shut because it has a cam, which of course it doesn't use for anything. The cam can be up and it will still fire up. But it's kind of nice that it's compatible with your classic Zippo. As I mentioned before, it charges via this port. And when you press this button, you see this blue light turn on. Uh, it has a 7 second shut off, so that means if I keep holding this for 7 seconds, to protect the lighter and the battery and uh, such, it will turn off after seven seconds. The light stays on, but but it doesn't let you burn it on and on. Uh, one thing I should mention is that this uh, the arc is wind resistant, maybe even windproof, you can say. And uh, I got to tell you, it lights up stuff really well. It ignites. Um, I tried uh, turning on a. Uh, tiki torch and the moment that arc touched the side of the tiki torch the wick it just caught immediately which is really nice for example I could show you here on this pencil I could just then you'll see it immediately you know <laughs> it, it, it doesn't take much to catch it on fire and this brings up the question I mean my my older brother asked me this if you were to touch the arc would it feel like electri being electrocuted or being burned um, I inadvertently found this out don't try this at home of course but when I was one time pushing this um, lighter into one of these into <laughs> into a case while my finger was on these electrodes my finger slipped and I pressed this button and it felt like being zapped rather than being burned. Uh, it didn't leave a mark or anything but I'm sure if I had kept my finger there it would have really also actually burned too. So here that's the insert. 
Uh, I guess the only downside really is the fact that it's not waterproof per se, but then again, neither is a ordinary Zippo lighter. You drop it in the water, the fuel will probably run out. So that's that, but, but other than that, it's pretty cool. So let's get on to the, to the case. The reason I bought this lighter, well, the entire contraption for the case is really nice because it has a it has a gasket all around and I believe that um, if I was to put a regular Zippo um, insert it will hold the fuel really well another thing that the uh, ins uh, that the case has is this little lanyard loop which I kind of wish ordinary Zippo lighters would have some of them do have them I think they're called the armor lighters and they come with a little lanyard but this is kind of nice that you can attach any lanyard you like um has a hinge top hinges open really fine um has a little safety here so you won't accidentally bump it open in your pocket since the insert fits into regular zippos regular zippo inserts fit into into this so you can just carry any Zippo insert that would fit into your classic Zippo. Uh, the only exceptions are Zippo Slims and Zippos that are of the 1935 replica model, but I don't have any of those. I don't have the replica models, I have the Slims, but but uh, yeah. So this is our regular, you know, fuel one, and it fits just fine. Now this brings up one thing that I you know would maybe want to have changed but um, here I'll show you it's better it's easier to show this is a vector lighter fits in just fine closes up but when you go to open and light it it won't light and the reason for that is because these vector lighters they need the cam to you know cam open and they'll cam it shut but um, it won't cam it back open because there's no tab inside here that your regular zippos have um, it's a small thing nothing nothing too large but you know it's it's a bit of a hassle that you would have to open this up turn the cam down and then to you know work your lighter uh, so I guess with that being said I should say that you should probably not use this kind of um, not this kind of a uh, insert this or the other one both of which i have um, done reviews on if you want to take a look at so another thing that i kind of don't like too much wasn't too thrilled about was the fact that it has the logo written right here on the side i wish the logo would have been written down here but you know oh well uh, they could have just written it down here kept the sides blank it would have mo looked much nicer in my opinion and this this case has a bit of this rubberized texture to it um, eh, you know I feel like this might peel off and devulcanize but time will tell so with all that being said um, overall I really like it I've been carrying it generally with its um, arc lighter insert for the most part and um, you know this got me thinking about an experiment I'd like to conduct and that is I want to buy two lighters or possibly maybe even um, change the wick out on these two existing inserts one one is right here and the other one I will have to find and I want to try to have these go head to head against one another one will be placed in this sealed gasketed waterproof well water resistant case and the other one will be placed in its original Zippo case and I will see which one will last longer and how much longer naturally of course I we would guess that the the one with the sealed gasket would hold the vapors in much better but who knows maybe we might find something interesting in this experiment I will conduct that in the upcoming video if you would like to see that I would encourage you to subscribe if you like this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.